Time for another news. Three things to know about Independence Day as you plan your 4th of July weekend. It is illegal to set off fireworks in Denver and several other counties, but if you feel like doing it in another state, you're going to have to put in some work. Fireworks will be more expensive and harder to find this year. That's because many of them come from China, and officials say the supply chain still hasn't rebounded from the pandemic. Want some extra cash? Southwest Airlines is offering to pay employees double time to pick up shifts over the 4th of July weekend. Technical problems and bad weather disrupted Southwest operations in the last few weeks. You might remember seeing the images from DIA. Now it's facing possible staffing shortages for the holiday weekend. The double time applies to shifts between July 1st and the 8th for flight attendants, ground operations workers, and cargo agents. Airbnb is taking steps to make sure your 4th of July celebration doesn't get out of hand. The company announced it's blocking one night reservations for listings of entire homes this upcoming weekend. Exceptions are made for guests who have numerous positive reviews views. Airbnb began banning large reser reservations last summer after big houses were booked for major get togethers during the pandemic. The maximum amount of people allowed for a single reservation is 16. Still a big rental. Yeah, boy, I read an article in I think it was in the New York Times about uh, Airbnb and oh my goodness, some of those houses get trashed. Oh, I know it's terrible. Yeah, oh, it's and and there's crime and some of them and oh, and just, they give it such yeah. a bad name for like small families like right. us who want right. to just go for one night for Fourth of July to see fireworks somewhere. But exactly. And do it now because people yeah. ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly. It's yeah. why we can't have <laughs> nice <laughs> things. Exactly.